So I got a call from a good friend, Ed. Ed's the the guy that does a lot of hauling for us. He's got the great big uh, Super 16 dump truck that uh, you guys probably see in a lot of our videos. Um, if if we're hauling material, we're typically working with Ed. Uh, Ed's, Ed's great to work with. He's got a lot of experience and with his dump truck, he hauls a lot of material. So Ed had called and had a had a problem had an issue and here we are in the middle of middle of January and it's been it's been pretty it's been a pretty mild winter so far we've only had one really big storm but but the snow didn't stick around very long uh, you can see that snows melted off we've probably had more rain than we have snow and but it's cold and things are frozen so Ed had gotten a new internet service put in last week and it the service is air pipe and so it's a point-to-point -point radio tower you gotta have line of sight for it to work which which is really popular uh, here in North Idaho where as you can see there's mountains in the background and if, if you've got a line of sight on one of their towers then you can put in a receiver and get pretty decent internet with this point-to-point -point type of system. So they came out last week and, and put one of these systems in and they they put his receiver way up in a tree. I mean it's it's up there 30 or 40 foot in this tree and then dropped a wire down to the ground and then put the wire into some conduit but but the wire from the tree um, runs down and then runs across the driveway over to his shop so he called and said hey do you think we could we could uh, bring the mini excavator over and try to get this this conduit in the ground because I'm not going to be able to plow snow or drive into the shop with this conduit just laying on the ground you can kind of see the conduit there in the background uh, um, and so I said, you know, I don't, I don't know. The ground's pretty frozen. Let's, let's try it. We, we may have to, we may have to bring in a bigger excavator or something. But let's, let's try it and see if we can get that conduit at least buried, and then you can plow snow and not have to worry about it. It's that, it's a little one inch. Uh, that gray schedule I think it's a schedule 40 PVC and it, all it's got in it is 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 kind of a, a heavy-duty cat 5 or something that the, the, the wire that's in it isn't it isn't very big you, you certainly wouldn't want to direct bury the wire putting it in conduit makes makes good sense but you can see um, digging across all this frozen gravel it was it was it was a fist fight trying to scratch through this frozen gravel and rock trying to get a just we weren't even going very deep we, we figured hey let's just put it in about a foot deep that's what they recommend um, and so here we are scratching and scratching and scratching trying to trying to get this uh, trench dug so we can put the conduit in. You can see that if if that conduit was to get left there that it wouldn't take very long before trucks going back and forth over it and trying to plow snow through snowstorms that we're for sure to have in January and February and maybe into March. Um, might have internet but the property is going to be hamstrung for the um, for the rest of the winter so this was probably not the best time to do it, but, but but better now than later. You can see um, in that shot the 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 tree was off to the left, and there's a little just a little white dish there that this pipe and cable run to, and then it goes up the tree. Um, 
I should I should ask Ed what kind of internet he's getting out. You know, I wonder what his speeds are with this air pipe service. It's probably fairly decent, um, but it, it's also probably better than satellite, or or certainly better than not having anything at all. There's been a lot of talk with people around here about Starlink, uh, the new SpaceX product. And a lot of people have been using it and have had good things to say about it. And I probably should have, have talked to Ed about it, but uh, maybe that'll be an option. Something to explore down the road is the Starlink system as opposed to this air pipe. I mean, this is, this is a lot of wire and conduit and everything else. And I wonder about that, that dish up in the tree and snow and how do you clean the dish off and it'll be interesting to to talk to Ed to see about how this how this works and if the service is good so we uh, we just had to keep fighting and fighting and scratching away it was it was miserable digging I mean at this point I've been digging a couple of hours um, through this concrete, um, finding the occasional gold nugget, old stump or root or something. But that first six, eight, ten inches of frost was just miserable. And if it was summertime, it probably would have taken me 20 minutes or something to to knock out this 100 foot or 150 foot of trench, but I, uh, this was, it, it was a tough one. But the other issue that we started to run into is once we got through the, through the frost in the driveway, we got into softer stuff. This, this more topsoil, dirt we got into it was really easy digging it it had the snow on top of it and the snow had been insulating uh, the ground and it wasn't frozen but there was a lot of water in it I was I was blown away at how much water was just below the surface you can see there kind of the bottom of the screen that we've got this groundwater or whatever that is that seems to be filling up the trench which didn't, uh, it didn't help things. One of the issues that we've got here is we've got this trench dug, but now we've got all of this material with rocks and sticks and, and garbage. And the idea of pushing this material back in on top of that conduit might be worse than driving over it. So we decided to look around and see if we could scrounge up some soft material create a bit of a borrow pit where we could get some some soft material to put back in uh, back into the trench um, so I'm, I'm swapping out the swapping out the bucket here this uh, this new cat 306 is so slick you can swap buckets in just seconds and so I t took off the, the tooth bucket and I put on the, the kind of the, the big bucket, the grading bucket. And I'm over here scratching off some snow and ice and looking for just some, some cleaner material that doesn't have rocks and stuff in it that we can kind of bed that conduit with. But I've, it's, a real, it's a real problem in that with the water and everything else, I uh, I'm really concerned that the, the conduit might get uh, some rock or something placed on top of it, and then uh, as trucks pack it in or whatever, that that conduit's going to get cracked or broken or whatever. So we may be back in there digging it up and and replacing it, but at least in the in the meantime, 
until summer uh, Ed will be able to do a little snow plowing. Here he's he's doing a little dirt plowing. Uh, I was working on on kind of bedding the pipe and and grading things out. You can see here we got a lot. It's it's really bony material. There's a lot of frost in it. There's a lot of rock. It would have been nice if we probably if we could have gone to a gravel pit and gotten a load of of sand or even some three quarter or something that would let us backfill that trench and, and bed that pipe in. That would be better than this frosty, rocky stuff that we've got to put back in. But the the material I got out of the borrow pit there behind me was was really good and, and guys went through and, and shoveled it in and tamped it in and I think it's going to be all right but but we'll certainly we'll see as time goes by and start driving on it kind of consolidating all of the the frost and the frozen chunks uh, back out of the driveway and closer over to the trees I'm sure that as spring comes on that's going to be really rough as those pieces thaw out but we can go back in there and regrade that once once the frost is out of it, kind of clean that up. Um, there wasn't a lot that we could do right now with all of the the snow and the cold. So it's a, it's kind of a temporary uh, fix that'll it'll need some. It's going to definitely need some more cleanup and reworking uh, as summer comes on in spring next year we'll have to get back in there and clean things up but but for now at least you can drive through the driveway get the trucks in and out we'll be able to plow snow you can you can see the conduit going up the tree um, had a, a built-in radio tower there grown right on the property so this is uh, a this, this little project took us about oh, maybe three hours or um, maybe four or something like that from start to finish by the time we we got loaded up got over there got things dug and we were able to um, get it cleaned up somewhat it's not real great but get her cleaned up and backfilled and then get ourselves loaded back up on the trailer and turned around and and headed back to the property so that we could get over to the <laughs> over to the next project so this is kind of a, a, a fun video the idea was to shoot the just shoot footage of the project and and being there and then bring it all back and put it together and and try a voiceover so this is kind of the first voiceover that I've tried it'll be it'll be interesting to get your feedback and you know I'd love to see your comments down below hear from you do you like this style of video um, so appreciate you watching and love to see your comments and we'll catch you on the next video